Medieval Chronicles 8, Part 2. Life and death are like two sides of the same coin. They cannot face each other despite being so close. Nor can they exist without each other's presence. Cruel irony, is it not? How are things going? Eh? Are you talking to me, Boss Fletch? No, I'm talking to the quill on my table. It wants to reside inside your eyeball. Ah, I, I... Ah, relax. You know he doesn't mean it. He's just in a bad mood lately since the big boss has gone underground, leaving everything to him. Ah, not only has the boss gone underground, that idiot Accord managed to get caught as well, along with plenty of our members. Be still of us, boss. I'd rather want the asshole cop who put us in this miserable situation. Let's put a hit out on him. Ooh, sorry boss. Our budget has been severely limited. At most, we can hire some more common thugs. Damn it! Is this what we've been reduced to? How am I supposed to face the big boss like this, Ronnie? Actually, boss, I do have a solution. Really? Tell me. Well, boss, most of our problems currently are present because we lack money, right? Of course. So we can solve this by earning more money. Mm. Ronnie, you should stick with what you know, counting the money rather than earn it. You're not smart enough for that. That's what my father used to say before he kicked me out of the house for pickpocketing. Money will gradually come back to us as the business progresses. What I truly need right now are capable people. The kind that knows how to get away with crime has certain persuasion skills and has a general disregard for the law. Actually, I met someone. Good for you, but remember, brethren before maidens. Eh? That's not what I... Also, try to keep your professional life separate. I've seen a lot of good thugs give up this life and become farmers. What? No, I meant I found someone capable to work here. I'm not dating. Not that I'm even capable of dating. And start with that, idiot. You got me caring for you here for nothing. Eh, sorry, but I really think this guy would be a great addition to our team. Here's the info I gathered on him. Hmm, kicked out of the Writing Defense Academy for bullying the teachers? Eh, but aren't the teachers of that place retired, hardened cops? How can someone bully them? That too, a student. Pretty hardcore, right? I met this guy at a bar. He was being of a postman who was just minding his own business. Be of a postman? Why? Is he a nutcase? If he is one, he's a pretty talented one. He actually had good grades, but his nature was abhorring. What do you say, boss? I invited him over. He should have come by now. Do you wish to meet him? Hmm. How do we know he's not some mole being planted in our midst? He used to attend the Rydian Defense Academy. Don't worry, boss. I've done intricate background checks on him. His history checks out. Read further. Hmm. Well, there's a cop who was a womanizing alcoholic asshole, a mother who abandoned him, bad behavior records throughout. It sounds like a recipe to make someone like us. Wait, what's this? Uh, Ark? I can't read this part. Who the hell is she? She's... She was my best friend. And also my savior. Who the hell is this? Ah, it's you. Boss, this is the guy I met. I see. Come closer, boy. So, boy, tell me. Why is your best friend's name written in a police report alongside yours? It's pretty simple, actually. She died a long time ago. And I was the one who led her to that path. I know all the dark places where my mind goes. Now I know how you make me feel is something private. I know all the dark places where my mind goes. Skybound, part two. Does everyone understand the plan? Yep, we pretend that Dreg was kicked out of the academy for bad behavior, and we are currently not on good terms with him. So, basically, we act like normal? Eh? Aren't you three supposed to be good friends? It's 
more like Stockholm Syndrome between us. We've decided to identify with our torturer to lessen the pain. You can abandon me if you wish, though. I'm used to it. I'm better off alone if you ask me. I hate the society anyway. I'll burn all the post office to, to make my point. Ah, good. You're getting to know your undercover persona well. Undercover persona? Eh? Weren't you acting just now? No, that's how he normally acts. Really? I suddenly realized how little I know about you three. But I finally understand why the teachers are complaining about him from time to time. I am really uncomfortable with these clothes. Why? Is it because this is what gangsters usually wear? No, it's because they're cleaner than my usual clothes. I'm not worthy enough to wear such clothes. Sir, please ignore him. He was probably born with several birth defects. I think there's a better chance for the bloodhounds to kill themselves if they hang around him. They're not called bloodhounds anymore. They've changed their name to Wearclaw to throw us off their scent. Different names, same crimes. They've done that because their boss has gone underground ever since you started a manhunt against them. And that's why we need Greg to go undercover and get his location. It's not going to be easy. Not because it will be dangerous, but because people usually don't even trust me with their spare change. We have no choice. Sweeping the academy did not yield any results. So the only way to get to the true boss is to infiltrate their base of operations as a spy and gain their trust, by hook or by crook. Okay. And please try to keep your crime spe spree to a minimum while you're at it. No promises. Hmm. Hey Ronnie, is this guy short-sighted or has he fallen in love with me since he keeps staring at my unholy face? D Dreg, that's my boss! All the more reason he should stop staring. Falling in love with me will only end in tragedy. <laughs> you got a sharp tongue, kid. I once chopped onions with it. I was crying the whole time, though. I hope you don't mind me asking a couple of questions before I hire you. Is that okay? Go ahead, but please don't ask why I drink so much. A lot of people already ask me that. Same as always. Are you an undercover agent? Of course I am. I really wanted to be cut into pieces and fed to dogs, which is why I volunteered. A bit of warning though, your dogs may get sick or drunk after eating me. <laughs> Sorry, I was just making sure, but you are right. The same person wouldn't agree to being an undercover agent. My doctor already to always told me I should seriously consider taking permanent residence in a psych ward. Alright, next question. You're committing a crime and the cops catch you. What do you do? I... hmm. Running away won't work since my speed is slower than a grandma. If I resist arrest, then I would simply get beaten up. So I guess I'll give myself up willingly. Of course, I hope you guys will rescue me with a good lawyer before they break my will. I'm really liking this kid. Alright, one more question and you're ready to be a part of us. Okay... Let's say you find out that someone betrayed your organization. The mole is someone you personally know. How do you think one should handle this? I guess you kill him to make an example out of him. Good answer. <laughs> should have known better than to steal from me. Ronnie, clean this up. Yes, boss. Good news, Dreg. We just had an employee quit and there's a spot available for you now. I... Thank you. Good boy. Here's your identity token. It ha it's has some blood on it, but it'll wash away. You are too kind. Oh, don't mention it. After all... If we don't look out for each other, then pests like him would infest this place. Don't you agree? Preliminary evidence gathering. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just told to mix things. I'm just reading a book. My break time currently. Hey, thanks for sticking your neck out for me. Anytime, you did the same for me when that cop tried to arrest me. Like I said, it was an accident. I just kicked the postman across the room. How was I supposed to move to land on that cop? Well, I am thankful regardless. I am good with accounts, but nothing more. 
I'm not sure if I'm fit to be a thug myself. Really? Then how'd you get that eye patch? I always assumed you had a brutal fight. Nah, I lost this eye while drinking a fruit punch with a straw and it poked my eye. The patch was given to me by the doctor. That story was more pathetic than I thought it would be. This book. This book has numbers and statistics on it. That means it's an accounts table. Grabbing it will ensure me to find the other businesses these guys have. Hey Dreg, what you looking at? Nothing much. I just hate maths to the very core. So I wanted to burn down this book. Whoa, relax bro. I'll get into a lot of trouble if even one page is wrinkled. Right, sorry. I need to find a way to record its content and send it to Gru. Maybe later when they leave it alone. Ten ways to make your enemies kill themselves. How to make money in your spare time. Chapter 1. Deciding which bank to rob. Serial killers, the trendy criminals. Found and sealed a shattered reality crack. Many such cracks throughout the game. Seal all of them for a bonus cutscene. So far, one of ten. Who the hell are you? I only talk to other thugs. Identity token. Hey, new guy. Do you think you're some hotshot around here since you got the boss's attention? I'm not sure. These clothes are made of wool, which probably explains why I'm hot. A wise guy, eh? Alright, smarty pants, tell me something. What am I doing by pouring colored waters into these apothecary bottles? You're making fake medicine. Correct. It's a very sensitive job that bosses have entrusted to me. Just pouring color and water. How is that hard? What? Do you know how difficult it is to match the tint and the viscosity of the water to the medicine? It is a very hard job. Alright, fine. Your job is hard. I bow before your superior intellect. That's more like it. Of course, my bow is so slight that you can't tell the difference from it in standing. Why, you? Hey, how's it hanging? Well, I'm not hanging from the ceiling, so pretty good by- good, I guess. What you doing? Great. I'm doing that, uh, what's it called again? Removing stuff from things without the buyer's knowledge? You mean... siphon? Ah, that's it. I'm removing wool from the beds we sold. A little from each one to use it to make another couple of them. So, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my mom, one for the little boy who claims he's my son. Fifty ways to break the law and fifty-one ways to get away with it. Pyramid schemes and how to use it to suck the money out of stupid people. The government. A study on the biggest criminal organization. We need to earn more trust among them, but being allowed to be left alone with this book. Oh hey, you must be the new guy. I am? What are you packaging? Your emotions? I have thought of I have thought of doing that, although I need a smaller bag. Heh <laughs> take a guess. What do you call a process where you mix something into an item that does not meet fix its standards? Are you talking about adulterated goods? Smart man. I'm repacking bags of grain after removing a portion of it and mixing it with similar colored sand. Half the quantity, double the profits. Nice illegal activity you have there. Can you tell me where you sell it? I only ask so I can avoid the place and don't buy it myself accidentally. Sorry man, I can't tell you yet. Ask me later when I can trust you more. Okay. Seems I must raise my reputation around here before they're more comfortable telling me about secret stuff. Bunch of fake documents. I hope what happened back there did not deter you from working for the Wear Claw. Nah, if anything, it assured me that there's a strict hierarchy. Usually criminal organizations lack that. We don't call ourselves criminals, Dreg. We prefer the term businessmen. Business? As in bathroom movements? Uh, no, I... Is it because we do dirty work in the bathroom, which is why I call it doing business? Because our work is not clean? I think I understand now why we're kicked out of the Defense Academy. 
Well, when do I get to conduct some business? Do I need to go on a high fiber diet for it? Soon. Why don't you familiarize yourself with the place first? I'll have something ready for you by then. Yes, boss. I think that was everything I could get. I should meet with Boss Fletch for any work that could help me gain their trust. Hmm, what is it? Have you familiarized yourself with the place? Kind of. I would rather go kick someone's butt. Do you have anything for me that involves violence against the post office? Post office? No. But I do have one intimidation mission for you. Great. Who am I intimidating? If it doesn't work out, I can always make them depressed instead. There's a businessman who has denied paying us protection money ever since the last boss was taken to prison. We take protection money? Who are we protecting the businesses against? Us. <laughs> Go with Ronnie to meet up with our food expert. Who will help you intimidate that asshole? Food expert? Are we going to make some food for him? Actually, the food expert will not be making food for him. But instead, he excels in making the food out of bad customers. Ronnie, how's it hanging? Weiss, you son of a bitch. How are you? Not bad. Who's your friend? Ah, right. Say hello to Greg, our newest member. I can see my reflector on your shiny head. Yeah, heh <laughs> Funny guy. What's that, Ronnie? Is your gang so crippled that you're hiring clowns? Ah, well, what can I say? We're in a bit of a bind at the moment. Speaking of which... I couldn't help but notice that you haven't paid your protection funds for a while. Did you forget? Eh, nah. I just didn't feel like it. Oh, buddy, that won't do. You're like a friend to me, and I don't like hurting my friends. It hurts my, uh... Feelings? Yes, thank you, Drag. It hurts my feelings when I have to cripple a friend. Stabs right through my heart. Was that a threat, Ron? No, no, no. More like a cautionary warning. After all... I am a really good guy. <laughs> Your threats are empty, Ronnie. Your gang doesn't have the standing it used to after a cord was caught by the cops. Oh, come on. You know us better than that. We're going to make a comeback. You don't want to be on the other side when it happens. What if I do? You know what? Let me give you an example. A couple of weeks ago, we recruited this new guy. You know him pretty well. Hey, get over here. What the hell? Who? That's... Weiss and Dreg. Meet Chef, the notorious underground fighter. Bugaga Bugara. Holy crap. Someone contact Goldilocks. Found one of the three bears. Now then, Weiss. As a constant patron of the underground fighting ring, you know full well the shapes of Chef's strength, right? You wouldn't dare. The protection funds are for your are for your own good. They allow us to protect you from situations like this. But, but you brought him here yourself. Tell that to the judge. From a wheelchair. Take him down, chief. Chef. No! Gah. Wait, stop. Dreg? What's wrong? Hey, you. Stop hiding like a maiden in love and come out. Gah. <laughs> it looks like the gang is not as fallen as I thought. To think we almost had them. Eh? Officer Chip, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious by now? He was waiting for us to attack Weiss so that he could arrest all of us. What? You both laid a trap and waited for someone from our group to show up, didn't you? D damn it! Whatever do you mean, my friend? We're simply two people hanging out together. Why, you... Ronnie, let's go. Eh, but we didn't... Just what are you expecting to do with him present? I... I... <sighs> Fine. You too, Chef. Ugaka. <sighs> Thank you for your time, Weiss. Eh? You've got a nice place here. 
savor it while it lasts. Oh, what? God damn it. What are we going to do now? The boss will kill me. Ugaga. What? Why are you snarling at me? He's not snarling at you. Eh? He's saying you don't need to pay him since he didn't complete the job. Wait, what? Ugaga? Yes, I can understand you. Wait, what? How? I've been drunk my whole life. As a result, I learned what other drunks are saying when they're too wasted. Chef's way of talking is somewhat familiar to that. That's... a handy skill. By the way, the job is not done yet. I can't fail on my very first mission. But there's no way Wise is going to pay us. That's because he doesn't understand the importance of having insurance from us. Insurance? Yes, everyone trick or treating. When one refuses to give you treats, you are legally allowed to trick them. Ugaga. Wait, what? It's not legal. That means my criminal record is bigger than I thought. Well, it doesn't matter. Why think this casino can run without any protection? Well then. I'm going to show him how wrong he is. Wreak havoc in the casino. Alright, so I can't actually do anything to that. Oh, hello. I guess you are a black suit. How can I help you, sir? I was just wondering why a beautiful lady like you is doing a job like this. Oh, I am sorry, but you're not my type. And again, many people aren't, which is why I'm still single. Well, what is your type? You must be tall, handsome, smart, has a type of ego that wishes to stand above others, wears glasses, and hopefully has a cute name. Well, you are in luck, lady. I know someone who fits the bill. Holly? That is a cute name. But what about the other aspects? Well, he's tall like me. He's smart too, but not smarter than me. His life goal is to stand on top of his field. And he wears glasses. That sounds delightful. When can I meet him? I must warn you though, people I have dated tend to call me ne- And I quote, horrifyingly crazy. Oh, it doesn't matter. He usually surrounded by people like you. I, I have to meet him right away. Great, here's his address. Don't bother knocking. He loves it when one barge is in. Got it, thanks! <laughs> you successfully convinced a female employee to leave the casino and torture Polly. You monster. Completed one-eighth of the objectives. Found and sealed. Shattered reality crack. I uh, don't see any other ones. Alright, Chef, right? Ugaga. Okay, Chef, do you have anything that could help teach Weiss a lesson? Ugaga. You have three items? Hmm. Well, these would be more useful. Hmm. Grabbing alcohol is flammable, right? Why do you have it on you? Ugaga. Oh, that makes sense, seeing that you fight with the people in the illegal fighting ring. I'm gonna definitely need to be safe, just in case. Ugaga. I can have it, thanks. Hmm, the type of rubbing alcohol is actually banned because it stays on your skin longer and... And it can produce sparks if subjected to extreme rubbing against the surface. Well now, that's an ability that's highly acceptable to my current objective. How can I help you, sir? Why are you wearing a hat? Eh, um, is it because of your baldness? <laughs> That's right. Did you know that food with vitamin C is best for hair growth? Really? Is that true? Of course. Why in the world would I lie to you? Then, thanks. I'll leave immediately to buy food with vitamin C. Successfully convince an employee to leave. Two of eight. Hey, Ronnie, I have a job for you. Interested? Oof. I don't know. I'm kind of stressed out as my urge to gamble is slowly starting to overwhelm me. Look at it this way. My work will help you distract yourself from those thoughts and help me kick Weiss's ass. Okay, I'm in. No need to feel guilty for Weiss anyway. He's an ass who used to beat his wife before she left him and ran away. 
Great. Kevin is rubbing alcohol with me. I want you to give it to everyone. By telling them it's to reduce the chances of any infection spreading. Uh, that sounds like it'll be more useful to wise than harmful. Just trust me and do this. I promise you'll be satisfied with the results. Ah, jeez, you sound like... You sound like my ex-girlfriend. Ew. Too much information. Excuse me, ma'am. If coughing against infections, please clean your hand with the rubbing alcohol for your safety. Oh my! <laughs> Thank you, handsome. Hello, handsome. Would you like to know how I landed a rich husband? Ooh, spicy. I usually vomit when they see already dropping me this, but I am currently lonely and desperate. Hey, can I play? Of course, sir. Please take your position. Five minutes later. The house raises 20 ships. Hmm, I have full house. What should I do? A call. Very well. The house has two pairs. Full house. Good game, sir. Would you like to play again for a chance at W winnings? Nah, I don't need money right now. In fact, here. S sir? I know your boss is an asshole. Take this money and pay your debt to him so you can escape this place. But how did you- Not my first time dealing with a casino. I know how- I know well how they operate. So I know an indebted employee when I see one. Thank you. I swear I will never forget this favor. Four of eight. How can I help you, sir? I have some bad news for you. Eh? What is it? Well... Your brother's in the hospital. My brother? Who, Ray? I don't think cheering is appropriate. I'd know that counseling for bears is a bad idea. I guess I should go visit him. Good. By the way, the bear's asking for you not to file a case against him as he's willing to apologize for the pot of honey. The song is called Fun in the Park. Dude, that sucks. I felt like I was being killed in the park rather than have fun in it. Oh, another drunk customer criticizing my work. Well, if you think it's that easy, why don't you play a tune? Good thing. Hmm, how should I play it? I call this piece The Drunk Angel. What a marvelous sound. Truly inspiring. Wait, what? Those three are the hardest critic in the musical world. How have you managed to win them over with that piece? Because you play music to impress and I play it to vomit the emotions from my heart. Ew. Sounds disgusting, I know. It's the truth. My music is filled with strong emotions that was felt by the people. I see. Thank you for your guidance. I'm going to leave this job and go to the mountains to further improve my talents. Good luck. Six of eight. Alright, so, uh, there's these two left. How can I help you, sir? I notice you have bad eyesight. Eh? Um, yes. Well, uh, it's a thing that will improve your eyesight. Glasses. Eh, eh? I thought carrots increased the chances of better eyesight. Neither of the above mentioned ones. They only protect your eyesight from deteriori deteriorating any further. I see. Excuse me while I go to the doctor and kick his ass for lying to me about it. Good. How can I help, sir? You okay? You look a little distressed. Eh, um, yes, I do have a little headache, but it's probably from overwork. Well, are you sure this is a normal headache? Eh? What do you mean? Do you get tired when you run long distances? Eh? Yes, but doesn't everybody? What about going to the bathroom when you drink too much water? What about hunger? Do you get hungry when you haven't eaten? Eh? Yes, and yes? My god, you have a real disease here. Disease that makes you feel all that and even makes you think it's normal. What? Are you certain? 
Hurry up and go to the hospital. Otherwise, by this time tomorrow, you'll have a funeral, which I will not attend. Yes! Eight of eight objectives. I think that was everything I could do. Now to meet up with Chef and Ronnie. Hey Weiss, we want to have a word with you. What's up, Ronnie? Got the urge to do something stupid and end up in jail? <laughs> no, no. You see, my friend Dreg here wishes to have a word with you. Him? Hi there. I'm Dreg. You should remember me when I made a comparison about your shiny bald head with a mirror. The hell do you want? Nothing much. I'm just trying to offer you one last chance to do the right thing. <laughs> really? Do the right thing? Is that what you call protection money nowadays? What? Weiss, do you let your dirty cops do the talking for you? What did you say? Nothing illegal, that's for sure. <laughs> I already said I'm not interested. Well, I tried. Sorry we have to part this way, Weiss. Just remember, no backsies. <laughs> Why would I... Come on, big money. Oh my god, fire! Where's the staff? It's over here too! I'm on fire, baby! No wait, it's the machine that's on fire! Eh, run away! My casino! Wow, I never knew fire could be so mesmerizing, mesmerizing to look at. Is this how arsonists feel? I can get used to it. You assholes! You did it, didn't you? You guys are under arrest. On what grounds? The place caught fire on its own and we were here talking to you. I- I- You bastard! I will kill you! <coughs> ah! Dude, you need to control your strength. Probably sent him to the moon. You gaga. Stay time? He probably sent him to the sun, and I don't think he was carrying any sunscreen. That was assault! Eh? Didn't you see Weiss running, charging at Dreg? It was self-defense. Eh. Alright, let's go. We can't demand protection money anymore, since there won't, won't be anything left to protect. You bastards, this isn't over yet. I agree. Eh? You forsook your dirt duty to work for a wife beater. Ronnie, how good are our rumors network? Good enough to let the whole kingdom know about it. I, I... Then I'll leave it to you when we return. W wait, Dreg, right? H how about I pay the protection funds instead of Weiss? Really? Nope, sorry. What? Eh, <laughs> but Dreg. Trust me, Ronnie. But, but why? Didn't I say it before? No backsies. <laughs> that was spectacular. I was just doing what I normally do. Wreak havoc. There's no need to thank me. But, but boss, I'm money. You fool. Yeah, what did I do? Money will come and go, but once you lose your credibility, the money will be gone forever alongside it. I, I see. Now that everyone knows that we simply won't take no for an answer, the following protection can be collected without issues. Bugaga Bugaga. Yeah, yeah. I'll pay you your share. Just don't spit on me. Boss, Chef helped me a lot in this mission. I want to get paid alongside him. What? Since when did you become chummy with this monster? You have weird tastes and friends. I agree. To think you gave up being a cop to be with these assholes. How the mighty have fallen. Truly a disgrace. Who the hell are you? Polly, my old classmate. What the hell are you doing here? I really wanted to see for myself after I heard the rumors that you joined a gang. Hey kid, have you lost your marbles to just walk in here like that? Don't you have any sense of danger? Who the hell are you to interrupt our conversation? A common thug like yourself speaking to a future cop like me. Do you wish to get beaten? Why you? 
What about you, Dreg? Since when did you let someone talk on your behalf? You really have let me down. You bastard. Stop. Now's not the time. Boss, but he... Try to be level-headed. Can't you see that he's trying to rile you up? Let it go. Ugh, fine. Big words for a guy who's named after his father's dead pet parrot. Get lost. <laughs> fine. That's all I wanted to see anyway. Oh yeah, don't worry about her. What? So that's it. Without you to bother us, we've been getting along nicely. You freaking asshole. <laughs> Ah, you lousy criminal! You dare hit me! Dreg, stop. I know it was you who had me kicked out. So what if I did? What do you get for trying to steal my girl? Calm the hell down. Let him go. Garbage. You are nothing more than garbage. Bugaga, bugaga. What? Who the hell are you? Don't interfere. My dad's a cop and... Gah! You calm yet? Boss. I am... What's the girl's name? Eh? Don't try to play games with me, boy. Who's the girl you two are fighting over so bitterly for? I... I... Tira. Her name's Tira. We all... grew up together. Oh! That explains it. A romantic rivalry. What a hot-blooded story. I must be one charming lady to make two smart people like you both lose their goddamn minds over her. I... yes, she's a special girl. There's probably no one like her. Well, I'm not lying here. <laughs> I get it. I used to be like you. Don't worry. If I know girls, they like bad boys more than an honest man. Really think so? I hope not. She has too much for me to handle. She would be better off with a mountain lion. Just keep building your reputation like today. Trust me, when she hears of you, she will come running into your arms. Really? Boss, give me another mission. I promise I'll do my best. Good. <laughs> a love-struck youth like him is easier to control. It's good because I was starting to fear his intellect. But relax first. I have a big job coming up for you, so we'll have to talk later. Alright. Hey. Yes. Well, might as well collect more evidence. I already secretly handed Polly the evidence I gathered during the fight. Third class badge, upgraded to second class, because I completed the casino job. Okay. Shattered reality crack. Seven more to go. How long is this game going to be? Boogie dee, boogie dee. Why do I talk to you without being disgusted or scared? Should I really do that? Oogaga. I admit you dress as if every day is Halloween and your garbled speech make you even more horrifying, but since I can understand you, I know you don't act like you look. How do you end up working for a gang anyway? Oogie ra boogie ye. Are we the only ones who would hire you? But tell me honestly, have you actually killed anyone? Ugani. Only poultry? Wait, are you a real chef? Ugaga boogaga big big da. Ah, right, you dress as one, so of course you are. Let me know when you cook something. I'd like to give it a try. Gaga. So, tell me about this girl. Tira? Why? Well, no need to get so defensive. I'm just interested to know this girl who managed to crack your hardened heart and face. Tira is... a very, very special kind of girl. Really? How special? Well, she... has a way with people. You'll always find people lying on the floor around her. Wow, this girl must be super hot to have that many people groveling at her feet. Right, hair indeed groveling. But not for favor though, they're begging for mercy. Don't think for a second that you can steal my job now that you're a second-class thug. Oh hey, by the way, I won't alter your pants just because I have a sewing kit. 
Break time again. This time I'm reading The Retribution of the Ice Cold Maiden. Is it any good? Does it matter? The author is using it to promote his novel. That's pretty shameless if you ask me. Hey, it's normal for an author to reach out to his old fans and show them the new things he's working on. Whatever. Oh, hey, bro. Nice work on the casino job. Oh, hey, Dreg. Just doing the usual adulteration job. Hey, Drek, what do you need? I was hoping to help you. Really? That's nice of you. Help me pack these bags, then. Actually, I can see that you're almost done. How about I leave and get us more supplies? We're gonna get the supplies. We will need to refill our in- We'll need them to refill our inventory. Oh, right. Here's the address of our grain wholesaler and the sand wholesaler. Remember to show your badge. You'll then get a discount and the cheapest grains and sands they have. Great. I'll etch their information deep in my brain. Great. Hey, can I take some of the wool home? My bed is flatter than my singing. I wouldn't recommend it. What? Why? Didn't you notice I'm wearing gloves while handing the wool? What does that tell me? It's harmful to the skin. Yep, itching, rashes, etc. It's normal considering we're going with the cheapest wool available. I see. What do you want? Easy, my throat is a little dry. Can I drink some of that fake medicine? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I'll give you a hint. Once you drink this medicine, you'll want more and more and more. Wait, are you saying that this fake de medicine... You lace the fake medicine with addictive drugs? Yep. Now the sick people come back despite the medicine not being effective. It's a win-win situation. I guess that makes sense. Hey Ronnie, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you end up working for the gang anyway? <laughs> that's a funny story. I was a normal accountant with a slight gambling addiction. What do you mean by slight and was? Your actions in the casino tells me otherwise. Well, one thing led to another and I... I ended up in debt. You took a debt to fuel your gambling addiction, right? <laughs> yes. Borrowed it from this very gang. I almost died when they came to collect it and I didn't have it. How is this a funny story? Well, the previous boss, Accord, saw my skills in accounting and hired me. Long story short, I paid back my debt. I am loving this job. Good for you, I guess. Yeah, thanks. I'll swing by to try your food when I get the time. Da -da 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 -da. Skip. Hey, tell me more about this Polly. Well, he's a megalomaniac with the personality of a proud baboon. His father is a cop who's very high on the ladder. Are you still worried they will steal your girl? Honestly, 50-50. I know Tira doesn't like his type, but I still fear that if he persists, his her heart may sway. Hey, listen to me, kid. You need to believe in yourself like the way I do. Girls like confident and bold guys. Probably etched yourself into his heart. You have probably etched yourself into her heart by becoming a gangster. You really think so? Of course. The more sweet talking, the more he trusts me. Love struck people are really stupid. Thanks, boss. I think that was everything I could get. I should meet with Boss Fletch for my next assignment. Hmm, what is it? Alright kid, ready for the next job? Of course. What are we doing today? Robbing a bank? Uh, yes. Wait, what? 
Relax, kid. It's a small bank with minimum security. Plus, he'll be doing this with the other gang members. That's... cool. I've never robbed a bank before. Sounds fun. Heh <laughs> Good. Meet up with Ronnie and the others. They'll explain the plan. Okay. I hope Guru has enough finances to compensate the bank. This is a robbery. Everyone, put your hands up. I hope no one here is a professional clown because I don't want a funny business happening here. Nick. Also, this is my first time robbing a bank, so I ask for forgiveness in advance for any out-of-place behavior when it happens. And please remember to comment and rate on the robbery after we leave. You, good sir, how would you rate this robbery? Eh? Me? Um, I guess one of five, since what you're doing is illegal. Totally understandable. Codename Taylor. Yes. <coughs> yeah. What about the rest of you? How would you rate today's robbery? For five. We'll rate it five of five. Thank you for your kind words. Codename Alcoholic. We got a problem. What's wrong, Mixer? We can't get the vault open. What? Damn. I'll be right there. Help the others keep an eye on it everyone until then. Yes. Ugara. Don't just say oops, you idiot. You knocked out the bank manager. How are we supposed to get the code now? Ugara. Don't snarl at me like that. I just told you to hit him a little, not send him into a coma. He's not snarling at you. He's asking what we should do next. How should I know? We need that code to break into the vault. It's not something that can be broken into by brute force, even by him. Ugara. Hmm. Mountain makes a good point. Pirate, where's the manager's office? Maybe he has a code written somewhere. It's the door to your right. I'll come along to look. If we fail here, boss will really throw me out in the sea. Let's go. Who the hell has two doors to his office? Whatever. Pirate, what exactly am I looking for? Code consisting of numbers only. It's probably a five-digit code since that's the highest it'll go on the mechanism. Got it. Found and sealed shattered reality crack. Half. Nope, still not half. There's a weird note here. Ma'am, please stand still. Hmm? Could it be? Does it clue that to what I'm looking for? Ma'am, stand still. He was referring to this portrait of the woman when the artist must have told her not to move for the portrait. What should I do? Something written on the back of the frame. Please have a seat. What should I do with the chair? There's a note hidden underneath the chair. Life is like a vase of flowers. It has more leaves than flowers, which may not look as pretty, but it's important to sustain itself. What should I do with the flower pot? There's something written inside the pot. God, you're such a hypocrite. Smashing is opening it. Something written on the shipping manifest inside. Don't look now, but there's a brick wall behind me and I'm red from anger. <sighs> Something written on the wall behind the curtain. Knowledge is inside me and also above me. I can't stop. Si can't stop. I can't seem to stop thinking about page three fourteen.
Uh, so the previous clue mentioned page 314. I should only look for books with the pages above 300. Hmm? Wait, what? What's wrong, alcoholic? The clue mentioned page 314, but there's only one book here that goes to that page. Not only are there no words on it, but also... There's a picture of a woman without any clothes on her. What? Let me see. Your reaction is too desperate, pirate. Here, you can have it. Otherwise, you may attend up, end up attacking your seamen. Huh? Wait, the lady is naked only from above her waist here and... Uh, could it be? Five-digit code, which resembles the word for, de for describing a woman's chest area. There's... No way that's true, right? Only one way to find out. Okay, I'm putting in the code. 80085. This is the first time that I really don't want this door to open. Let's see. Gaga? Yes, Mountain. The code was 80085, aka boobs. This did not just happen. Is the bank manager 10 years old or something? Good heavens, what happened? <coughs> ah. Ugaga. I don't know what he said right now, but I agree with his actions 100%. Whatever, let's take the loot and go. We've been here for far too long anyway. Y yes. <laughs> that was spectacular. I was just doing what I normally do. Wreak havoc. There's no need to thank me. Don't be modest. We couldn't have done this without you. This calls for a celebration. Dinner's on me. As long as I can get blacked out drunk, I'm in. Where are the others? Shouldn't they be joining us? Oh, this? Don't worry. All of them have gone into hiding for a couple of days. Hiding? Why? We didn't get caught. The cops keep an eye on every existing gang when something like this happens. So it is normal to shut everything down for a couple of days. Too bad it didn't work this time, though. Oh. Hello, Fletch. I hope you don't mind if I join your little celebration. Crew Valorous. Who? Psst. He's the guy who arrested our last boss. He's also the reason why our gang got crippled to this extent and had to change our name. I see. What do you want? Oh, that's cute. Your previous boss asked me the same thing before I arrested him. Outrageous. For what crime? Well, you seem to have withdrawn a little over what your bank account held. Now that's illegal, and you know it, right? What proof do you have? You really shouldn't have used your own warehouse to store the money, idiot. Uh -huh. My warehouse? How did you- You should think before you kill one of your own men, Fletch. Fletch. Someone holds a grudge against you. Ah, that traitor I killed before I had to intimidate Greg? Damn, I messed up. Actually, it was from the basic information of the gang that I gave Polly, but I'm not stupid enough to say that out loud. Boss, calm down. Just don't say anything. I'll arrange for a good lawyer. No, that won't be enough. If the boss finds out about this, death will be electric compared to what he will do to me. Let's go, Fletch. Ah, no, I... Should I just make a run for it? I... Hey. Hmm. Greg? What proof do you have that the money in the warehouse is from the bank? Who the hell are you? I'm his, uh, lawyer. Do you have any conclusive evidence against my client? A thug with a lot of money on him. Do I need any more proof than this? Wow, am I surprised that you became a cop with that brain? What? How dare you? I dare because I speak the truth. The money really belongs to the bro to the boss. He inherited it from his dead aunt. That's bullcrap. Do you have any proof otherwise? Ronnie, how fast can you retrieve the will? At, um, to two hours. I can find it and show it to the cops in two hours. By retrieve, you mean forge, right? Officer, please. We are not criminals. It's 
it's you who is abusing your authority to arrest an innocent man. I wonder if I can complain about it to your superiors and have you arrested for harassment. Ugh. Now, if you don't have anything more to say, then get lost. My client is too busy to spare you his time. <laughs> Fine. But before I go, I want to know who you are. Oh, no worries. Here's my visiting card. You have visiting cards? This Dreg Morris. Town drunk. Wait, aren't you a lawyer? Man can have two professions. Ain't no law against it. I hope. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. Ugh, that was close. I almost didn't get the chance to hand over the information. I think I had it written on the card. Greg, you saved me. How can I ever repay you? That's okay, boss. I'm just doing my job. Ronnie, have someone move the money away to a different location. Yes, and while we're at it, let's find out the who. Let's find the one who's related to the traitor who boss take care of. No, I mean that they're expecting us to do just that. They probably have put him out as bait to lure us in and catch us. Such a sharp mind. I'm impressed. You've come a long way, kid. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have you meet the true boss one day. Wait, what? I thought you were the boss. That's what our true boss wants the world to think. But that's a topic for later. You should go underground as well. Crew is taking notice of you. I'll call you when everything calms down. Sounds good to me. Several days later. The gang trusts you completely now. Finalize the end evidence. The only thing that remains after this is track catching the true boss. Second class badge, upgrade to first badge. Five of ten. I am apparently still missing five of them. Oh, glass of lemonade. If you can find a use for it. Alright, I'm actually gonna save and call it there.